get by. We're round one. Jimmy Young and the red and white to our right now. Jody Ballard with the dark trunks. As most of you know, the problem with hitting Young is you have to find him first. Very adept, tying you up, staying away from you, slipping punches. He'll throw one, all of a sudden he'll be behind you. Young, of course, very anxious to prove that that was a good decision. He lost to Ali in April of 76 with a fluke. He's wild again. He wild twice. Honolulu and San Francisco. It's confidence or arrogance on Jimmy Young's part, but he should know the role of the underdog. He's been there, so if he takes this guy too cheaply, he's that's right. To nail. That's right. We are in round one of a scheduled ten rounder. Jimmy Young in the light trunks on the right against Jody Ballard, young man out of Cleveland, Ohio. He weighs 205. Young with an eight-point weight advantage at 213. Young will be 29 in November. Ballard will be 27 in December. Ballard with a flurry, none of which did any serious harm. I wonder if we, as we sit here now, wondering if George Foreman is watching down in Houston on our NBC telecast tonight. If he is, his memories of Young aren't too sweet, I'm sure. No. George retired after losing. Very frankly, and Joe, I guess you feel about the same way. I'm a bit surprised that Joe's reti uh, George's retirement has held up. I thought he'd come back. I thought it was one of those Sarah Bernhardt jobs. <laughs> Zessie has found religion and doesn't want to fight anymore. Right, push off, push off. Step back, step back, please. Step back, please. Scheduled for 10. We are in the closing seconds of round one. Ballard with 15 points to Young 12. So Ballard with a three point voting edge after the first round. usual there fellas there were some who thought well Jimmy Young just gonna have a little light workout he's been trying to catch everything he's not throwing anything all field no hit Joe Young is very deceptive. For a guy who makes his living being quick, he has what I'd call a soft body. It's not hard to find muscles, but nonetheless, he is in shape. The referee, Charlie Roth, just turned to Young and said, well, I want you guys to break. I want you to do it clean. Now, come on. Young was a bit upset at that because uh, Ballard had him by the shoulder. <coughs> Wonder why the referee's talking to him, huh? Okay, guys. We are in round two. And now referee Charles Roth wants to wipe off the gloves. Of Jimmy Young. He must have touched the uh, canvas when he bent down that last interchange. He rubbed right down his leg and right to the canvas. It was uh, Ballard's corner that said wipe the gloves off. Shades of Gaylord Perry, right? <laughs> I love when we were in Baltimore. Joe came over to shake hands with me after shaking with Gaylord and slipped right through me. <laughs> Red 
Round two, one minute to go. Ballard with a three-point edge in the voting at the end of the first round. It's a strange fight. Jimmy Young considers himself an artist in the ring, I think, and Jody Ballard is just plain and simple a street fighter. He's coming to beat you up. Young on the right. With an eight-point weight advantage and a two-point, two-inch advantage in height. Six-two to six feet. You hear so many instructions from the corners, but Ballard's corners keep saying, don't wait. Don't wait. Yeah, that reminds me of Joe. That reminds me of when the corner always says, we're doing okay. He's not hitting us. Check He's the from there. Check the referee. Yeah. On May 4th, a tornado struck Olathe, Kansas. We still haven't found the roof. It's probably two. The end of round two, it's Ballard with 30 points, Young with 26, so it's a four-point lead. He's picked up another point. I think we'd have to consider that a major surprise at this point. Sure. We are in round three. There have been no knockdowns as yet. For those of you who might have joined us a little bit late, Larry Holmes, the seventh round TKO over Young Sanford. In our first heavyweight bout on our night of heavyweights here in Las Vegas. And Ron Lyle just finished going 10 rounds and winning a majority decision over Stan Ward. Ken Norton goes against Lorenzo Zenon. At the end of this one. So we've got a lot of action coming up yet. We've got Muhammad Ali watching from Wilkesboro, Pennsylvania, close to his training camp, getting ready for his bout with Ernie Shavers on September 29th at NBC. And Ernie is watching. Close to his training camp in Youngstown, Ohio. And we'll be hearing from those gentlemen a little bit later on again. Right above us. Don't get wet, Joe. Ken Norton coming up next against Lorenzo Zanon, of course, is going to meet Jimmy Young. And Shavers, of course, has a knockout victory over Jimmy Young. Oh, the heavyweight picture, quite complex. Jimmy Young was knocked out by Ernie Shavers in February of 1973. That looping right by Ballard, overhand right, caught Young high on the head. Don't think it hurt him that much. That was flat. Second one tagged him into the... He got a good body punch in there. Jimmy apparently didn't take it too seriously. Jimmy's fights of his losses suffered four fights there, 70, 71, 70, 73, right in that area. Fellas like Clay Hodges, Roy Williams, and Randy Newman. Where are they now? But then he lost to Ernie Shavers in the first round, 73. And last loss was in 76 to Muhammad Ali in April. That was a 15-round, rather controversial decision. Thanks. They're really rushing today. I hate to tell you, Stacy. Cody Ballard, 30, 39. Jimmy Young, 34. <laughs> Ballard beat Young on the top of the head. No complaint. Big fight going on. Ballard had a lead and still holds on to the lead. Open up this round a couple of bolo punches. Ballard still with that five-point lead. Now getting a warning from referee Charles Ross. Does not like the drill attack. <laughs> and Young now 
starting to open up here early in round four. That's a little bit of a Ali shuffle. At the end of this round, we are going to be going to Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania for a comment from Muhammad Ali on how this fight is progressing in his eyes and opinion. Getting that with Larry Merchant. Those grunts or snorts you may hear above us emanating from Jimmy Young. Young now starting to open up. He has been trailing in the first four rounds in the bogeys. Down catch him in this round. Yeah, could be. Don't forget now, Jody Ballard is unranked. Comes in here with a record of 24 wins and nine losses. And the guys he has fought are not in the same caliber. As Jimmy Young, but there have been some pretty good names in there. He lost about uh, six fights in 1976 when he had managerial problems. But he had 10 knockouts in his first 12 wins when he really came out in a rush in 1974. He lost to Henry Clark, he lost to Pedro Lavelle. That started down the road. Young starts to pick up the pace quite a bit as he forces Ballard into the corner. I think Ballard stumbled back there more than was not there. Now referee Charles Ross trying to get between the two. Five seconds to go in round five. about Joe. Ballard is out in front now by 66 to 54. That's not correct. It's 56. 56. That's an incorrect score over there. Oh, it's a two-point lead. We are early in round six now. Ballard with a lead. Has held the lead since the first round. The biggest lead was five points. It's a two-point lead now going into round six. He definitely is getting more aggressive than he's going to have to because uh, he did take him lightly to begin with. He took a page out of Ali's book, I think. Just kind of smiled at him. Right? Let's see if he can take the final page, which is turn it on when you have to. That's the tough part. Ballard has definitely come to mix it up. Right above us. Young now trying to open up. He's landing. He hurt Ballard, or Ballard is giving a little sham job. Jimmy Young in the white trunks on the left. And Ballard warned again by referee Charles Ross. This is round six of a scheduled ten rounder. So far, we've had no knockdowns. One minute to go in this sixth round. Kenny Norton and Lorenzo Zanon. Coming up after this one on the night with the heavyweights here in Las Vegas. Young is really sticking that left hand in the Ballard right now, walking right into the face of the cannon and offering it to him. Trying to throw the right. Ballard coming back. Young seems to want to counter. He wants him to throw the punch and yeah, not get him. Right. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to lead the parade. Close and oh, oh. Get that time. Yep. 
And we noticed Mr. Ballard didn't do any action either. And it is tied according to the officials. 69-69 is the point total. Jones. Young was behind by a five, he was behind by two, and now he's caught him. Joe and Stu, I find it very interesting that Ernie Shavers would sit there and say, despite looking at Jody Ballard carrying this fight to Jimmy Young and being ahead for most of it, saying that he gives Ballard very little chance. From Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, we'll pause now for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. <laughs> This is WNBC-TV, New York. This is WNBC... Is, ...he's watching Young just slowly taking charge. He came out here, they said they feel each other out, but it was more, uh, well, I, when I want to turn it on, I will. Yeah, evidently, that last round, he showed us the ability that he can. Well, what they expect, that overhand right, that lead right. Quick hands. Yeah. Cody missing with a roundhouse left. And ties you up. Yes. Again. Referee Charlie Roy trying to break him up. Well, Young has fought back. Ballard had a lead. Biggest lead was five points at the end of the third and fourth rounds. Young narrowed the margin to two points at the end of the fifth and caught him in the sixth, and it's even right now, according to the three judges who do the official voting, according to the Nevada Boxing Association Commission. That's One minute to go in round seven. Looks like a bunch of grunting, nothing going on. Sounds good. Well, I like the way we keep the scoring system because the folks at home have a pretty good idea of who's winning and who's losing rather than waiting until the end and build up the suspense and then raising all kinds of you-know-what when it doesn't come out the way they want it. It's not always a pleasant surprise. Either Is this a little down. rope adult over there? Round seven, neither man has been down. Ten seconds to go in round seven. Schedule for ten. You guys are experts on CB radios. I'm not. Give me one good reason to buy. Telling Jimmy Young what to do. Right, pressure him. Pressure him. More pressure. Mm -hmm. Once you got him going, keep right on top of him. Put the combinations, okay? okay. That was Bob Brown, manager of Jimmy Young. We taped between the rounds. We're in round eight, and right now, Mr. Jimmy Young has taken the lead. 84, 84 to 77. It is 84-77, Young on top of Ballard. At the end of seven rounds. We are now in round eight. <laughs> round seven, I stand corrected. It is round seven. I stand corrected, gentlemen. <laughs> Neither man has been down. Oh, that was clean. Yes, it was. Yeah. Jimmy Young, ranked number one by Ring Magazine. He says he's the logical contender. The number one challenger for Muhammad Ali. So does Ken Norton. He's going to come up against Alonzo Zanon. Now, it is Jimmy Young opening up against the game, but a little bit outclassed. Jody Ballard right now. Young, a picture of a man going to work. You can hear him working at it. You can see him bringing out all the tools. 
pretty good example of what Brown said. Press him, press him. He's pressing him all over him. Five rounds, then Young caught him and now has passed him in the voting. Now young, young has won his rounds decisively. Yeah, too. now Young is starting to pile up some points. And Jody Ballard appears to be a bit tired now. We'll be going to Muhammad Ali in Wilkesboro, Pennsylvania. Larry Burch, right out from heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali, his comments on the proceedings to date on our night with the heavyweights at NBC. That's coming up in about five seconds. And the score shows Jimmy Young with 99 points, Jody Ballard with 89 points. So you can see that Jimmy Young is now pulling away and leads by 10, going into the eighth round of a scheduled 10 rounder. Ken Norton against Lorenzo Zanon to follow on our night with the heavyweights here at Las Vegas on NBC. Joe and Brian. You think Ballard is going to be able to stay with this man? Ben? I think it'll go 10, but I, I don't think he's going to knock him out. I think Jimmy Young's got the fight. I'll go along with that. I, I don't think Young will take Ballard out, mainly because Ballard's going to hang on and, and really just grab it. Young and do anything he can to stick around. But I think right now it's apparent that he isn't in Young's class. Young with Ballard up against the ropes now. Overhand right, another overhand right by Ballard. Ballard trying to fight, get us some points back. He's got a long mountain to climb. Can't get in, the door's locked. Jimmy Young just puts the elbows up, that's it. There goes Young, low to work on Ballard's head. Right and left exchanges, you can hear in the background. You can see it right there. And Ballard backing off now. Ballard in trouble here. In round eight. Now he's got to fight back. Ballard trying to get inside of Young now. Jimmy, the two inch in height advantage, the eight pound weight advantage, and the experience. This is his 29th pro fight. The other man has that 33 pro fight, but not the same caliber as Jimmy Young. Cody Ballard's gloves look like they've been dipped in concrete. They're very heavy. Young using Ballard now for a punch and bag. Ballard trying to fight his way out of the corner. That's a stick over the left. Dan now, Young just content now to hide behind the, the gloves here. The old peekaboo style, then open up again. Now Young begins to straighten up Ballard. That was the end of round eight, and we're going to show you a little bit of that flurry early. 114 points for Young, 101 for Ballard. Going in, so 13 point difference going into the next to last round, scheduled for 10. Jimmy Young anxiously awaiting an opportunity to get back into the ring with Muhammad Ali claims he's the number one challenger. Ken Norton says, I am the logical contender. And Ken Norton will 
Coming up next on our night with the heavyweights as he gets into the ring with the landed Lee's Lorenzo Zenon. Right here on NBC, so don't go away. I thought we'd have more fireworks, more knockouts, but no. night's not over. I think that uh, Mr. Norton could have put a charge into somebody. I think most of the people here probably felt as you did, Joe, that we'd see a lot of knockouts, but, but Ward surprised. I We've think. had only one fight stopped short. That was Larry Holmes with a seventh round TKO over Young Sanford, our first part of the evening. Those of you who joined us late, as Jimmy Young begins to use Jody right now for some target practice. Jody's definitely in trouble. He is. Jimmy's going right after him. Jody Ballard in trouble. Jimmy Young took a look back at the referee saying, will you stop this thing? I don't want to really hurt this guy. Charles Roth right now showing no inclination to do that. Although he is taking a look very deeply into Mr. Ballard's eyes. Young is Really teeing off now on Jody Ballard. Ballard trying to come back. Ballard is very still to have his reflexes with it, but not as sharp, of course, as they were at the beginning. But he had a little bit of a lead in the first couple of rounds. A lot of Ballard's punches are reflex action. Yeah. Just Getting hit, he knows he should throw a punch. I started to say Ron Lyle. I was interrupted by that flurry. Ron Lyle scored a decision over Stan Ward earlier. Young threw a low blow at Ballard, the corner screamed. We heard Young back off and say, I'm sorry. It was accidental. Straighten him up with that left hand, did Young? Ballard staying right in there with Jimmy. Right. The seconds to go here in round nine. Daddy! It's your face. We go to the tenth and final round. Overwhelming lead for Jimmy Young. 129 points to 113 for Jody Ballard. We've got a 16-point lead. The only way Ballard to win now is a knockout. Even if he were to pick up five points from all three judges here, he'd still be a point short. Jody Ballard, you saw Shun the touch of gloves to open the tenth round. Rushed over to engage Mr. Young. Young's laughing at him. He ran to meet him. Looked like the semifinals of the Golden Gloves the way he went after him. Just tapped him on the shoulder, Ballard, and say, hey, come on, break. And Ballard let him have one. Now Williams, Jimmy Young open up again. Just got to hurt after a few of those, Joe. Like a foul ball off the mask, right? Without a word. We're going to be going into the ring to talk to the winner in just a few moments here. Mr. Ballard gets some points for game this. He sure does. He's Stayed right kid. in there. He's a tough kid, but he is in very tough company. 26 year old Jody Ballard has taken everything that Jimmy Young has thrown at him tonight. Neither man has been down. We're in the 10th and final round of a scheduled 10-rounder. And Ballard comes back with an uppercut. And a tough fight. Ballard led early. Young caught him. About the 5th to 6th round. Passed him and now has a sizable, insurmountable lead. Unless, unless Ballard happens to land a lucky one. I've got to believe like that Norton's going to make it worth the price of admission. One minute to play. I think so. Here in the 10th round. Don't forget we have that dog coming up right after this one. Ken Norton going against Lorenzo Zeno. Jimmy Young opening up once again. And Jody Ballard in the closing moments of the 10th and final round. Hit him with an overhand right. That running we hear is Jimmy William, is Jimmy Young. 
He's that isn't singing. Ballard. That's Young. He's hitting and singing. That's it. It's funny how you grunt louder when you're winning. Oh, yeah. Ballard stays in there, fellas. With Takes too much effort to when you're go. losing. The closing seconds. Low, low. Well, that does it. Ended on a sour note. Jimmy Young struck a very, very low blow to Jody Ballard. He